Okay, carrying on with the website that we're setting up as a review site, what I've got here is I've created uh, an article on a product that I want to promote on the website and I'm going to set up the review plugin so that I can put my own review and then accept reviews from visitors on the, on the, the uh, in that section of the website. So the first thing I needed to do was to write my article. So I got a list of theme words here in Web Content Studio. I created my article and then just quickly ran the theme report just to check down the bottom here. Theme score 100%, quality theme score 96 and a half, that's fine by me. You can see um, that I used 32 different theme words which represented nearly 89% of the theme words that I'd originally chosen or I'd got Web Content Studio to choose for me. So I'm going to export to the clipboard and then go over to the dashboard for the website. Now I can add the new post, right click, paste and then I'm going to just take the headline up to the title and we can delete that headline now. I'm just going to add an image in here of the product. The one thing we haven't got yet is the rating and review plugin. It's not activated on this particular post. So if we go back here, what I can do here is I can insert the affiliate URL in there and I'm going to rank all of these. Effectiveness, I'm going to give it a 9 because based on the user reviews in Amazon it's pretty good. Um, price and overall a 9. And let's just update that. Now one thing you'll notice even though we've updated the information we don't yet have the ratings embedded in the page because we haven't set up the plugin to do that so that's what we're going to do next. Okay to get the plugin to work with our pages we need to go over to the style the setup embeds for the my review plugin and there's a graphical positioning system at the top but let's move straight down here at the moment and ratings in comments we want to embed the comment author's star rating in the comments so when the person comments their star rating will be embedded with their comment and I want to put that um, above the text if the comment author's rated no categories then embed nothing so if, the, if they haven't actually rated anything we don't want it embedded that's right um, embed star rating form in the comment form that means that underneath the comment form now we'll have the star rating so that when they leave a comment they can actually rate the, the product as well. So let's just save that and we'll go back over to the web page and we'll refresh it so you can see what effect that has had. And if we scroll down to the bottom you can see now that here's the comment form and they've got a message here, click stars below to rate and they can just move the mouse along and click their ratings, post their comment, post it and then it will be sent to me for moderation. So that's the comment section. We can also add this bit, did you find the reviews helpful? And this is something you see on uh, Amazon. You can put it in if you want to. You just select yes to, to embed the did you find the, the review helpful. Embed helpfulness results. We're going to put it above the text. And that's all we're going to do for that. Then the ratings in posts and pages. Embed post ranking icon. The post ranking icon is where that particular product is going to rank amongst all the other products and I don't really want to include that. That's something that will get included in a comparison table on the category pages when this is all fully set up but at the moment we can ignore that. What I do want to do is I want to embed the rating of the editor and I'm going to float that top right and I want to put that on single post pages and we also want to embed the average ratings table display in posts and this is the average rating that the people who actually come to the site, the visitors, give your product or the products that you're re reviewing. So let's just save that and we'll go back again and we'll refresh the page. Okay, so here is the editor's rating and here is the average rating of everybody including the, the editor there. Now because nobody has actually rated this product yet you can see that the average rating is the same as the editor's rating. If we go down and we'll add a comment and just to see how this works. 
Now if I log into the dashboard, you can see under the comments, we've actually got the comment in here. And part of his rating is, is cut off there because of the size of the screen. But I can approve that. And then if we go back to the website and refresh the screen, that his reply now is embedded in here. And if somebody clicks the yes, then thank you for your feedback. Let's just refresh the screen again. And you can see here, feedback positive, that's one. If somebody had clicked no, let's have a look what happens. We'll refresh the screen again. And you can see here, feedback, one positive, one negative. And there's the rating with his comments. The last thing I want to do with this comment section is I really don't want these ratings scrolling so wide across the screen. So I want to actually do it so that there's only two, uh, the effectiveness and then the price and then the overall fits underneath. And we can do that back in the MyRP settings folder down uh, menu down here. If we go down to the settings and to the comment section, then at the moment, split new rows in stars every three ratings. Now, what it means by three ratings is one, two, three. So let's just change that to a two and we'll save that. And then we'll go back and we'll refresh the screen. And you should see now that it's much more nicely formatted. There we go. So we have two ratings and then it goes on to the next line. Now the final thing for this part of the tutorial is I want to put a buy now button at the bottom of the post and we can do that over on the setup embeds section. Go down to visit site in posts and pages and embed the visit site link in the posts. I want it below the text and I want it on single post pages only. So let's just save that and we'll go over and refresh the page. And we should find now that at the end of the review, there we go, there's the review. At the end of the review, now we've got this click to visit, and that now uses my affiliate link. But one thing I'm not happy with is I'm not too happy with the button itself. So I'm going to change the button, and we can do that in the settings, and go down to visit site. We can use no follow. We can force the link to open in a new window if you want to. I'm not too bothered. I want the, the button central and we can have a look down here at different buttons that we can use. Okay, that one's quite good. And I'm going to just save that. And then if we go back to our page and refresh, we should now find that that button is at the bottom of our review. And there we go. Now, just to show you the final thing here, if you go back and you look back at the setup embeds, we've been using these menus down here to set it all up without using the graphical positioning. But if you look at the graphical positioning now, you can see that what we've got floated right, editor's rating table, average rating table, and the visit site link. So um, as we've been using these menu items down here and in the settings, the, the plugin has actually been adding it to the graphical thing. So we could we could actually just drag and drop things straight onto there. Now, just a final thing. There's the ratings page. It's all set up. One thing we don't want is we don't want these uh, ratings to be on pages that aren't reviews. Now, let's click onto a page that isn't a review and see whether that is the case. And here is a normal page, normal content page. And as you'll see, the rating system isn't embedded in that page. The reason it's not embedded in that page is because over on the post section you can see that we haven't filled in the rating categories. Therefore the rating system is not put onto that page. It's that simple. Now there's lots more to show you with this plugin but at the moment there's a start to start integrating this plugin into your review site.